This page is used to edit the details about contestants or advisors, any any participant at your contest that you've already registered. So you could use this page to change the t-shirt size or to adjust a date of birth or put in a phone number. Uh, if you scroll down this page, there's some information here where you could add additional contest contests if this person is, in fact, a contestant. Um, some email address information, parents information. If you scroll on down, there's some state-specific information. Your state director may have set some items up here to ask what time you may arrive. Uh, any other questions your state director has set. There are some optional state fee items here. And if you keep going down, there's some emergency details. For a lot of states, it's very important that you fill in the medical insurance information, the name of the doctor, and any kind of particular allergies they may have, or any medical issues that you may find that the students may have. Those may be important in your state, or they may not. Now, at the very, very bottom of the page, there's a attestation page for legal documents where you can say if the student is over 18, they can attest they're agreeing to all the terms of your registration, or if they're not 18, you can attest as the parent. Save that registration. Um, if you try and edit um, a registration that has already been submitted, I'm going to click this registration here. We'll see at the top, this registration has already been submitted, so only the medical information can be changed. You can't change this city. You can't change this student's information. You can't add any more contests. But after you've submitted the data to get your state director to know that you're ready to go, you can still come through and fill in a lot of that medical information and whatnot. You just can't add any contests or change the name or anything like that. One other thing we want to look at in terms of the state fees if I go back to Arnold down towards the middle there if we scroll down you can see there's a optional state fee items area and this is where you'll also see a calculation of your total fees right now if I hit this recalc button we can see the total fees for Arnold to attend are right now sixty dollars that's just a standard fee that this state has set up for their event but you have the option to add some state fee items and again your state director may have configured these in a variety of ways if I click this add button or this little add link at the bottom I can choose what type of hotel I might like. Uh, let's say I'm going to stay in a quad room and then I'll save that. And I also want to add that I'm interested in attending the closing banquet. I want a ticket for that which is $20. Your state director may have set up t-shirt fees or hat fees or transportation fees. Any number of things here. You just add a row for each item you want to purchase. Choose your item and then save it. And then at any point you can recalculate what your fees will be and see for this student now his fees are $380. You have another option down here where you can keep track of payments that your students make. This is not handle payments to your national office or to your state office. It's strictly for your use as an advisor. If you want to know that this student did in fact bring a check in from his parents, and the check number he brought in, you know, you can put in that check number and say that he paid $380 to you and that's fully paid. This just gives you a way to keep track of who is paid and who is not paid. Again, this doesn't calculate anywhere, it doesn't show up anywhere for your state director. It's strictly for your convenience. If we save that information and go back and look at a particular ob observer, um, observers cannot be added to contests, so if, you're choose, if you've chosen to be an observer, you cannot add a contest. Only contestants can be added to particular contests. So that's what this page is used for, for editing that information. Just save it at the top, or save it down at the bottom, or if you, need to find a, if you can find a convenient save button, that'll save your data and take you back to your list of registrants.